Okay, on to our last question for the day. Uh, this is from a YouTube viewer. And this YouTube viewer asks, don't know if it's a he or a she, uh, you know how YouTube IDs are, you know, one, four, three, nine, crazy girl, or, or could be crazy guy, you still don't know if it's a girl or a guy. I have been trying to find out for ages, and no one seems to be able to help. I was wondering how I can learn everything about computers from the ground up, almost like an idiot's guide. I'm a power user, but I want to go from the ground up to get the foundations in, you know? I love videos, and I'm not so fond of reading. Well, I can understand I'm not so fond of reading. Books are handy, though, because you can quickly get to the sections that you want. In a video, sometimes you, it's hard to find exactly the segments that you want to learn, and so books can be really helpful. But a book can only have a picture, and a picture's worth a thousand words, but a video is worth billions of words, all right? So videos are really great. Obviously, Ask the Techies is one of the things that you can watch to learn a little bit more. There are some other resources out there. I encourage you to check out your local library. That's some resources uh, that's free to you. They have often DVDs or VHS tapes that you can watch to learn programs. Um, also online, there's gobs of stuff, not just Ask the Techies. There's a lot of stuff out there online that is free that you can take a look at. Um, if you go on to like iTunes, you can go in there and find a lot of podcasts that are in there. Um, I'm going to showcase a particular program called Miro. If you haven't heard about Miro before, let me pull that web page up and show you. Um, let's see, go to bookmarks. Do I have Miro in here? Let me, uh, if you do a search, if you come up here and uh, type in in your search Google search bar, Miro, M-I-R-O, then you'll see it on there. Click and it shows it for you. And basically this is like an iTunes player, but they don't sell anything. Everything's free and it's all video. So you don't have to worry about trudging through a bunch of audio files or music stuff or other things that they're trying to sell you on iTunes. So that's kind of nice and download it. It's free. There's versions available for, uh, I believe, all operating systems, Linux, Mac, Windows. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it's a great little program. Um, let me show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. Ta-da! There you go. You got a nice little window. They have some featured. Hey, they featured us. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, or gals, don't mean to be sexist on them. Anyway, so we have uh, some featured ones up here that you can take a look at, and that just kind of helps you explore, and those change periodically. Uh, so you can learn about new things like Discovery Channel, things that they have. But you can also go into a browse, and you can go by categories, and you got technology. There's 828 channels in technology that you could browse through. You could click on that and just see a whole batch of them throughout there. Now you can also go up here and you can type in a keyword. Like let's say I want to learn more about Macs. So I'm going to type in Mac. Search channel and here we go. In fact we even have some that are in French apparently. So this is international. Miro is really big into being international and you will find uh, shows, videos that are in other languages. So if you're looking for stuff that is in Spanish or in French, you, you may very well find it, what you're looking for exactly here. And you can kind of scroll through and see what you've got. Um, there's us again. Um, so, so you can basically take a look and, and see what, what all is in there that you might want to watch. Um, you can see there's gobs of them and in different languages. Explore. It doesn't cost you anything. These videos are free. Now, if you do want to spend money and you really want to get down to the heart of what things are, you're really trying to train, there are some resources I'd like to point out to you that if you do have money and you want to spend, give it to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, you can go to a, uh, let me go back to my web browser. I found a couple of sources that I think you'll find really helpful. If you like training videos, these very much are like training videos. They aren't like, uh, I consider like Ask the Techies a little bit of edutainment. So it's kind of educational, but it's kind of a little entertaining. These folks are, are clearly just trying to be instructional and provide the information in a very short, concise manner. And they're not having a whole lot of fun with it. Um, but they do a good job of what they have. They do charge money for a lot of their stuff. They do have a podcast version. One of them is lynda.com. Let me state that first. lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com. And they have a podcast, and they show samples of their videos that they have available um, for free. And uh, you can check those out, certainly. Uh, there's the online store where you can actually uh, buy videos or DVDs. Like here's Dreamweaver CS4. It's uh, a dynamic development for 100 bucks, basically. There's an InDesign CS4 Beyond the Basics for 99 bucks. So I guess they have a basic DVD in there somewhere as well. Final Cut Express, 99 bucks. Some are 150 bucks for Photoshop CS4 for photographers. So there's a lot of them on DVD, but they also, let me go back, and they have a lot of stuff that's online. They have an online library 
that you can take a look at and you have to subscribe. There's like a monthly fee, you know, they vary depending on what service it is, but you could check that out and see what that is. There's monthly fees, some of them have an annual fee. Thing about these are, with this online version, is like lynda.com, you can't download those. So you can't take, with, take them with you on the go on your iPod. You have to be connected to the internet in order to watch them. And that's a little bit of a deterrent, and so it makes it really hard to like hook it up to your TV to be able to watch them from there. Um, and once your subscription is over, you can't view them anymore. Once, if you've got a one month subscription, after a month you can't watch them anymore. So just be aware of that. That's not a minus necessarily, just wanted to make sure you were aware of that. This is how people make money to do what they're doing. Um, unlike me, who's <laughs> kind of doing this for fun, with the help of some other great people uh, who helped me produce these as well, including James Madison University, who's been really helpful in allowing us to uh, use this equipment. Um, if you take a look under their Learn By, you can learn by subject for certain categories. If you want to learn about Ajax, for instance, for uh, web programming, you can come over to Products and you can find certain things, like if you wanted to learn Adobe After Effects 7, or say you wanted to learn the latest version, CS4, the one that just came out uh, this past fall. So that would be a, uh, uh, a way that you could get some videos that you could look at. And you get access to all of them is the interesting thing. Another service is AtomicLearning.com. And they have a bunch of technology skills tutorials in there. As you can see, there's access. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. There's access different versions. There's the 2000, 2003, 2007. They even have Apple Works. So they have a, a lot of stuff in here. I'm just going to scroll through a couple of samples. There's Fireworks, Final Cut Pro. Some of the programs are for Mac, some of them are for PC, the tutorials, so that can vary a little bit. Uh, if you wanted to learn, oh, I saw Flash up here. Here's Flash, because that's a tough one to teach yourself. You've really got to get some instruction. So there's some things, ways that you can learn some things, and there's some fees on those. Uh, you can take a look at them and see. As well as one other thing you might want to consider is college. <laughs> like here where I work at uh, James Madison University. Um, other universities offer training in this. You may even find some community colleges offer some training in these sorts of things. And sometimes at universities, they even offer some of their training videos for free at the university site. It's not part of a course, but you can still learn. So feel free to just do a search for what you're wanting to learn about computer basics. If you want to build your own computer, there are certain places you might want to go for that a little better. If there are some great sites that you all have found, so I'm sending this out to all our Techies viewers asking for your help. If there's some really great shows or lo locations for videos that you found that you would like to share with our YouTube viewer or anyone else, be sure to post comments on our website or send me an email and maybe I'll mention it in an upcoming video. Again, on our website, Ask the Techies, you can add your comments on an episode right there. So if you click on that video and you come on over, you find the video that you're talking about, there's a place you click comments. Now it does require a Gmail account, which is a Google account. If you don't have one, you ought to get one. They're free. You get access to a whole bunch of services. In fact, I'm going to be telling you more about that in upcoming videos. A uh, lot of great resources you might like. And you can just type in your comment, blah, 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 and uh, then it asks for the little word verification. You've seen those before, I'm sure. Okay, so share your ideas with other viewers and then if you want to find out other ones that are on there, check our little comments page. That would be a best place to look at it because I'm sure we'll get, we can get more comments if you all actually go through it than we would be able to cover in uh, videos. But if I see a lot of repeats of certain ones, I'll bring it up in an upcoming video. Okay, so it's a way to promote some of your favorite podcasts that you found out there. Or even if it is a pay for site, it might be something that's worthwhile. Because sometimes you get what you pay for. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. That's all I got for today. Do tune in next week. We have even more viewer questions answered, and we only get viewer questions if you ask them. Send us your questions at questions at askthetechies.com. Thanks for tuning in.